guys it's Monet here and welcome back to the Mo and Chloe show today obviously I will be cleaning out my closet I mean this is like way overdue and I know I'm not gonna get everything I need to get done today in this one video but I am gonna start with my sweaters now one thing that's really important to me is that you know with the new year you want to make sure that you clean out your closet you know you're purging the stuff that you don't really use anymore and I think today is the day that I really need to get the, the ball rolling rolling on it the ball rolling on it so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today I will be putting on a couple items you know trying to figure out if I want to keep it or donate it um, another thing I do have a Poshmark store and I've had it for about three years so I might be putting a couple things on my posh store or I just might be giving away to people I know I haven't really figured it out yet I mean I have like a really diverse you know style and so i might be putting like several items and different things i don't know i might give it to goodwill who knows i want to kind of be deciding that with you guys and share that whole process right now so let's get right into it also if you didn't know i have a poshmark store it is echo chic girl that's me i consider myself pretty green friendly obviously i mean i'm huge on sustainability i talk about it all the time and one great thing i love about posh poshmark and you know donating clothes is that you know you're not creating waste you're not taking your clothes into the landfill but instead you're providing items for other people who might love the same style as you and it's a great way to save money i just i'm just a firm believer of donating clothes don't ever throw away your clothes guys like it is so bad for the environment and just you just imagine do you want to be filling up the landfill like if everyone had that same mindset of throwing away clothes like our planet is just going to be like a full just like a trash can and so I really like to think about a circular economy and that's when you're not creating nor destroying items but we're kind of replicating the earth systems the earth systems this recycling kind of mindset in our economy and with clothing so imagine like one this one sweater being passed around five different people anyways I could talk about this like circular economy like for forever but I do want to um, expose you guys to you know different mindsets and different ways we can share the love share our items without harming the environment at the same time all right so let's look at this closet and honestly I'm already kind of scared like I I know it's tons of stuff I will be going through sweaters and I am like a sweater like lover like guys I know some people just like aren't big fans of sweaters but I will wear like the biggest sweater ever and just be like I love it like fabric like certain types of fabric doesn't really bother me like any type of fabric like I can pretty much tolerate I don't know Chloe's the exact opposite she hates sweaters she thinks they're all itchy and I just love them like I can't get enough of sweaters and with the purging of these I'm honestly looking forward to getting new sweaters that I can experience share my style express myself all that good stuff all right so I'm done rambling let's get into this video also I feel like I've pretty much procrastinated purging out my closet because the weather has been so inconsistent and like I feel like I've worn like two or three of my sweaters you know since the winter has started and yeah it's just because the weather is just so inconsistent it's annoying but you know it is getting colder like I was outside today and it was absolutely freezing so I think hopefully we'll have a solid winter I hope so if not you just know that's an example of climate change because it should not be switching back and forth like this or that's just more of the reason to make sure you're donating clothes because when you take clothes to the landfill that is emitting greenhouse gases and that equals climate change but i'm done i'm done i'm done i promise with that all right so let's just let's see oh my god it's so many sweaters i don't think i'm ready okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna take them all and put them on my bed we're gonna sort them out, figure out which ones I don't need anymore. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> this might be a little bit harder than I thought, but 
We're ready for this. I'm sure you're wondering how all these sweaters were in this tiny closet, but my closet still has all my dresses, my blouses, like um, all my like long sleeve shirts. Maybe long sleeve shirts are a different day. Right now, we're just gonna look at sweaters, but man, the way I have my clothes packed up in that closet is a freaking miracle. I also have a dresser as well, which holds a lot of my clothing. And then in my loft area, I have like all my dance clothes in that wardrobe. And then in the guest bedroom, I have all my coats and things. <sighs> I love clothes, but that's besides the point. All right, so let's get through this stuff. And I think another important thing to mention is that these are sweaters. These aren't just sweatshirts. Now I do have quite a few sweatshirts, but I'm just going for straight sweaters. <sighs> All right, so right now I'm going to sort my sweaters into a similar style, like all similar styles. So that might take a minute, but let's just go for it. All right, guys, so I've ordered, like sorted all these sweaters into five piles. Um, I can go into further detail of what like style these sweaters are in. But this pile is like, you know, sweaters that kind of like are like crop top-ish, like I would wear with like high-waisted high jeans. These are like my super thick sweaters, like man, like a snowstorm, like this is like what I would wear like to keep myself warm. These like have like the plated, these are like plated, like kind of sophisticated, more professional sweaters that I wear for work and stuff. And these sweaters, they're kind of just like, they're just like interesting. They're just like, you know, a little different. And these are kind of like standard, regular sweaters. And I'm going through these and like, I already see sweaters that like I have worn for like the past four years, like all throughout college. And I don't really see a problem with um, continuing to wear those. I just like, oop. Cause obviously like, I really like them. But I did find this like kind of, I guess this is a pullover. But I've had this pullover for like since high school, like literally since high school. I think this, yeah, this is from American Eagle. When was the last time I shopped there? Probably in high school. So I think this is um, like something that I'm gonna have to like give away just naturally. Also mind that these sweaters have literally been folded up in my closet for months and months and months. So they are a little wrinkled, but if you're interested in wearing this, I am gonna put it on right now. All right, so this is what it's looking like, guys. Don't mind the wrinkles. Again, haven't worn. This stuff has been folded up for like forever and haven't worn it or anything. Um, and this is what it's looking like. I think I might give this away just because I haven't worn it in a very long time. Um, it's still pretty cute, honestly, now that I have it on. I'd say this is like more pullover versus a sweater, but this is what it is. It has a hood. Yes, I still feel cute, but I just haven't worn in a really long time. So again, this is from American Eagle. I may or may not put it in the Poshmark or I might just give it away. I'm not sure guys. Let me decide. All right, moving on. So I'm just gonna like go through some of these sweaters. Now this is like one of those half sweaters I was talking about. Now I wore this like a lot last year so I know I'm not done wearing it. Where is this from? Oh yeah, it's a Vince Camuto um, sweater. I love Vince Camuto. I have like quite a few items from that brand, but it's really cute and it's just easy to like pull over. So I'll probably keep this for longer. Oh yeah, and I, I got a lot of these sweaters from when I took my trip to Denmark because I knew it was gonna be really cold. And like, of course I wanted to be stylish. I wanted to be styling, profiling in Europe. So I did get quite a few of these sweaters and you'll probably see some of them in my um, video. So like this sweater right here, I love this sweater. This is probably like my favorite sweater ever. It's from Free People and it's so thick. Like, I just love it so much. So I know I'm not gonna get rid of this. Uh, I'm probably not gonna get rid of any, any of my really thick sweaters um, just because I just, I'm just, I'm a sucker for being warm. Um, I wore this sweater 
this is another one of those thick sweaters i also love like cow necks like i just love turtlenecks so much when i went to go teach at a convention um i think last year i think that video is up as well you guys can check that out but i did wear this sweater so i know i'm probably not gonna get rid of any of these sweaters oh my gosh my grandma got me this super fun like vibrant uh sweater last christmas it's so fun like i can't get rid of this where am i gonna get this from like i know so i just love colors and just look how like the detail let me show you guys the detail in this sweater yes and it's just, like really stretchy i know i'm not gonna get rid of this for sure not getting rid of it this one's a keeper so at least this whole stack is i'm keeping <laughs> and i'm not like I feel like this is going to be hard because I just like all this stuff has sentimental value and like I've worn it, you know, so it means something. But I do need to pick at least three sweaters that I you know I'm not going to wear anymore. So I think I'm going to be more strategic with like how I decide not to wear them. And this sweater, I think I put it in the washer and it like completely shrunk. Like this is really sad. Like it was a medium. This does not look like a medium. It looks like a small. So... Ugh, dang, I think it's the dryer. Which one, whichever one shrinks your clothes. It's so sad, I I love this sweater. I think I might have to give this away just because I won't be able to fit it. And I like my sweaters to hang down. Look how short that is. And it was not like this at all. So this is probably a sweater that needs to either be donated, given away. And it's so freaking sad because I really like this sweater. Ugh. I think also some of my other sweaters like have picked. Um, let me see. Like I was going through some of these and like noticed that like it was picking. Oh yeah, this sweater. Ugh, this is like another half sweater, and of course it has a turtleneck because Moni loves turtlenecks. But like it's starting to like a kind of pick, so this might be something I might need to give to Goodwill. I'll kind of show you guys the details a little bit. You can see like, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's kind of picking like around here, but the material is so super soft and I like how it has like these little ties on the side. Ugh, so unfortunate. <sighs> Had to be more strategic. I, I gotta look beyond my emotions and think like, hey, is there something wrong with the sweater here? Um, Let's keep going, let's keep looking. This is my Valentine's sweater. I will never get rid of it. <laughs> I wear it literally every Valentine's Day. Like, literally every Valentine's Day. I just think it's fun. I just like really oversized sweaters just because they're so comfy. Guys, I'm a fangirl of sweaters. Like, call me weird. I don't know. If you're another sweater lover, place in the comments so I know I can find you and I know that we're um, in the same group and I'm not alone in just loving thick, huge sweaters. All right, so I pulled out this sweater. I don't know if it does anything for my figure. Like, I don't know. It's like longer at the bottom here. I'm not sure if I look boxy in it. And I've worn it like very few times. Like like not like probably I feel like I've worn it like once so I think if I have to give away one sweater this might be the one um but I mean there's nothing wrong with it I just feel like maybe on my figure it doesn't look as like um complimenting but <sighs> this was harder than I thought and obviously I'm very attached to my clothing so that's that all right guys, thank you for sorting my clothes out with me. It's honestly been super fun. I know I have a lot more work to do, especially since it's so hard to let go of some of these items, but you know, it's necessary, especially going into the new year and if I wanna revamp my wardrobe. So something I gotta do. Um, I look forward to doing more clean out closets with you guys, probably like maybe long sleeve shirts are next. I don't know, but I've got a lot of stuff I need to purge. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. What day is it? 19? 19. Oh my gosh, it's almost Christmas. Six more days. And I still haven't even gotten everything. That just instantly stressed me out. So hopefully tomorrow we'll do some more Christmas shopping because Christmas is coming up. Alright, anyways. Bye guys.